right now, everybody. Quiet, listen to me. We're going to start a show. Now, some of you people have been with me before. You know it's going to be a tough grind. You're going to dance until your feet fall off. You're not able to stand up any longer. But we're going to have a show. What is a seller's concession, and is it something I should be paying attention to? You've been out there searching for a home, and you're now getting ready to submit an offer to buy one, and a lot of your money is about to be changing hands. One thing you'll be dealing with are closing costs. These are the out-of-pocket expenses that you'll be required to pay at the closing. These expenses are generally 2-4% to of the home price, and sometimes it's possible to have the seller defray some of these buyer's costs by having them give you what's known as a seller's concession. This concession will be applied as a credit in your favor at closing. The seller's concession could be a percentage of the total closing costs, but more likely, it'll just be a flat dollar amount that you'll be requesting in the offer to purchase. Some costs that we buy as a pay are title insurance, loan origination fees, mortgage appraisal, attorney's fees, and property insurance. A seller's concession can also be used to pay for some repairs that turn up in an inspection and that may need to be made to the house. A seller's concession allows the buyer to pay less out-of-pocket at closing, therefore making home buying more affordable. But be aware, seller's concessions are totally voluntary. As a buyer, you're free to ask for one, and as a seller, you're also free to decline giving one to the buyer. For the seller, a closing credit sometimes makes it easier to sell the house and get it off the market faster, especially if you're in a buyer's market. But if you're in a seller's market and there are multiple offers and buyers are aggressively competing for houses, asking for a seller's concession can work against the buyer, making their offer less competitive. It's part of the negotiation strategy in having the right agent to know what's happening in the local market.